Oh, hey, hush, we're live. We're live. We're live, you fool. Uh, welcome, everybody, to Tiberiosity and Acquaintances Play um, Dark Heresy the RPG. We're jumping on the bandwagon because we can. Introduce <laughs> yeah. yourselves. <laughs> Just oh, Tiber, why why you start? And I am playing as Vaughn. I am playing as Scythia, the Psyker. The Imperial Psyker, under the family of the Emperor. The employee of an Mercutio. And what's your name? Dallas. Dallas is playing Mercutio. Okay, there we go. I am Operian, and I will be the GM, and this will go horribly. Oh, it will. I'm expecting demonic oh. taints and explosions every five rounds. No, no, here's here's how it goes. Everyone gets eaten by a dragon. But there's All no right, dragons just... here! We are not waking up the void dragon. No. <laughs> no. The machine god can <laughs> sleep okay. a little while longer. Since this is this is basically going to be an introduction episode, yes, Tiberiosity? Just call me Tiber. Okay, Tiber. Yes. Tiberianus. Can we call you Tibbles? You cannot call me Tibbles, for I am not <laughs> a Tibbles. <laughs> <Tibbles. laughs> yes, this is just Anyways. going to be uh, an introductory offers, uh, episode, since half of us are in the UK, and therefore are awake at very silly times. Yeah. So let us start yeah. simple. Scythia, why don't you go ahead and tell us about your character? I am a void-born Imperial Psyker named Cynthia. Cynthia, the female. She is gunt-built with porcelain skin and blonde hair with grey eyes. She is age 26 and was born upon the Space Hulk Agamemnon. She has tiny ears and a squeeze bulk memento as well as a crystal ring. Um, okay. My mother's name was... Ah... Uh, <clears throat> We we don't remember their names. Hello. And she was a cleric, but she has that sister named Raya, who walked the path of the cleric also. And I had another sister named Spike. She walked the path of the Imperial Psycho. I'm glad I'm not recording because halfway through that you cut out for me. So, no, he I think yeah. he just went quiet yeah. while he was right while he was reading. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. No, I think it's going to keep going. No. Come on, get everybody in a circle, everyone. All right. What is Scythia's personality like? Rich is not out of the circle. Um, <laughs> as she was born alone on a ship that was um, destroyed or partially destroyed by the void, she's quite quiet and is not very uh, talkative to people, but she will be able to talk if she really wants to. All right. How did you meet your Inquisitor? They found me aboard the Imperial, sh the uh, Space Hulk Agamemnon, and basically rescued me. And I ended up falling under the employ of his Emperor. Okay. His what Holiness, the he... Master of all mankind. <laughs> what does the Inquisition mean to you? Hmm. It means the succession and being able to live without being destroyed as a heretic. Okay. What are you willing to sacrifice? My sanity. Too late. What do you desire? Uh, not to summon a chaos demon to kill us all? <laughs> That's actually a pretty worthy goal, I think. We should go with that. <laughs> Agreed. <Yep. laughs> and last but not least, what do you hate? Demons. Okay. The daemon Who's next? is weak within you. <laughs> this is a good thing. Who wants to go next? All right. You're the DM. You choose. All right. Uh, Varnius, why don't you go ahead and describe your character to us? Varnius? Varnius. Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> 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 my, my name is Varnius. I am male. I'm 24 years old. I have fair skin dyed hair and lenses eyes. My peers describe me as slender and I have quivering fingers. My goodness, this isn't a dating sim. <laughs> <laughs> you have quivering like fingers like... and yes, you're the assassin. I am the assassin. <laughs> I have that would yeah. explain why his ballistic skill is so low. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. His ballistic skill is high. His really? melee skill is low. Oh, okay. <laughs> no one hand him the sniper rifle and have tell him to cover you. Uh, <laughs> All right, Varnius. 
What is your personality like? My personality, I am. Indecisive. <laughs> yeah, I am decisive. Won't be slow. Okay, so um, we're gonna go with, just go with indecisive for now. Yeah. How did you meet your inquisitor? Mind you, you all have the same inquisitor. Who I haven't come up with a name for. Shame on you. So, uh, you should do that. The Inquisitor's name is Bob. It is Inquisitor no. Bob! <laughs> <laughs> that is too awesome not to use. We, must, we, we serve the Inquisitor Bob. He's very bad okay, at all. Fine, it is Inquisitor Bob. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this round goes to Dallas. <laughs> he was an Imperial architect. Do, uh, do you want us to come back to you, Varnius, on that? Yeah, come back to me on that one. All right, we'll come back to you. Uh, so we'll just go with Varn. Varn, describe your character. My character is an adept. He was born in a void. He's a male, which is why I refer to him as a he. He's <laughs> gaunt and 26, um, with nice auburn hair and watery blue eyes. And <laughs> <laughs> They're magical. He's totally available, ladies! <laughs> Just listen to that voice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what class are you playing for? I'm an ad adept. Okay. What is your personality like? I am um, very truthful and charismatic. Although I do like sometimes to lie to get what I need. I'm truthful up to a point, let us say. The deceitful little bugger. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you said you were born on a Space Hulk? I was indeed the same Space Hulk as... Our companion, um, the horrible, Cynthia? horrible demon bait. Yes, he was born on the Agamemnon. Sifia, that's her name. Did you meet her on Space Yeah, we were born on the Space Hulk at Sifia. I, I know, I was born on it. Okay, um, and how did you meet your Inquisitor? Um, did Inquisitor Bob rescue alongside Scythia? <laughs> or have you had, did you leave long before? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That wasn't a yes or no question. Um, well, okay, um, I met the Inquisitor, um... On the Space Hulk, he recruited me for my talkative skills and ability to, like, talk me out of a crisis. I like how the guy who is role-playing the smooth talker has trouble talking. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. This is, this is what we call irony, people. <laughs> so you essentially almost conned Inquisitor Bob out of his coin. Oh, out of his thrones, I should say. Yes, yes, I did. He's just that what awesome. does the Inquisition mean to you, Varn? It means a chance to prove myself. What are you willing to sacrifice for the Inquisition? Everyone around me. <laughs> that, oh my that, goodness. That. Um, <laughs> well. Shoot him now before you crazy. <laughs> Alright, two more questions. What okay. do you desire? Gold. Lots of gold. gold. You, so you desire money? Lots of yes. thrown guilt? <coughs> yeah. And what do you hate? Spiders. Spiders. <laughs> it works. Yep. Well, we know what I'm going to throw at you. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they won't just be spiders. They'll be chaos <laughs> spiders. I really, really hate ice cream. Oh, I can't stand it. It's <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> Chris, now he's going to create a chaos beast made of ice cream. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I will eat the whole damn thing. <laughs> I'm All right. Nom nom. All right. Uh, now, what, Cultos. What, what page is the uh, the personality stuff on? Uh, that would be page thirty-five. <laughs> yep. All right, Cultos. Go ahead and describe your character to us. Uh, my character is a feral world guardsman who's currently a conscript that wears war paint and believes in the warrior's death. 
his divination was the pain of a bullet is ecstasy compared to damnation. He also, just because, you know, no one really likes hikers. We all know they're dangerous. He put, has a starting pack for landing massacre, so he's resistant to psycho powers. He's big and scary. Right. What so, is your personality like? Aggressive and unforgiving. Okay. Shoot first. How, don't ask questions later. <laughs> how did you meet Inquisitor Bob? I was assigned as his driver. You were assigned as his driver. Yes, and then I just stayed okay. with him. Now, how did he make you? Why, besides being his driver, why did he decide instead of hey, drive me from point A to point B? Why did he say hey, I'm going to send you on a mission with these other guys? Because they need to be driven places. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's so what does the Inquisition mean to you? Money. Money? And a the chance of heroic death. Okay, what are Wait, you willing to sacrifice? Oh, everyone. Yeah, are you willing to sacrifice everyone else? Everyone. Sounds kind of familiar. What no, do you he... desire? Kill some Xenos. You desire to kill some Xenos scum. Got it. And what do you hate? Xenos. Okay. Very, very simple. Um, right, Mercutio. Why don't you go ahead and describe your character to us? All right, I'm Mercutio Fenris. I'm also a feral world guardsman. My home planet was a very cold and icy dominion. I am 21 years old with cat's eyes, green cat's eyes. I'm a conscript with fair skin and red hair. Unlike the uh, token, he has red hair. Yes, unlike the token, I have red hair. It's, just, right, it's just drenched with mud and blood of his enemies. Yeah. Uh-huh. Pretty much. What is your personality like, Mercutio? I'm the laid-back, easy-going one. Not a lot gets under my skin. How did you meet Inquisitor Bob? He came to my homeworld, and I tried to kill him for his furs and eat him. What? So are you telling me... In- He cut out. Barbarian. He's a werewolf. You no, can't... no, he had warm cl- three square meals a day and a place to sleep that is not freezing. What are you willing to sacrifice? Everything up to and including the Emperor himself. What, what do you desire? Shouldn't I equal corruption points? <laughs> I think I'm going to give him some. <laughs> Doesn't he already have some from the landing? Also, you cut out about halfway through. I already through have that. what I desire. Three meals and a bed. All right, and what do you hate? Tyranids. I bloody hate Tyranids. Makes sense. Okay. Now, Varnius, I believe we had to come back to you. So yes. have you decided, decided how you've met Inquisitor Bob? I have met Inquisitor Bob because I was recruited to defend him. I know it sounds odd, an assassin being a defense, but hey, well with it. you can uh, defend him from other assassins. <laughs> exactly. Chosen Precisely. for his skills and his manner, his experience and his guile. Precisely. Cue the All right. music. What does the <laughs> What does the Inquisition mean to you, Varnius? Inquisition is an expo- to me is an exploration of new places, new worlds. And things to kill. And new civilizations to boldly go where no man has gone before. What are we going to do? Da, da, da. What are you willing to sacrifice? I'm willing to sacrifice my possessions, everything I have. <clears throat> what do you desire? I desire is to fulfill my duty for the only true fear of dying. With, with your duty not done. And what do you hate? I hate with a passion. I do hate greed. Oh, dear. Greed. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> okay. Our assassin hates greed. First. <laughs> Shoot the assassin. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll misfire and stab himself in the face with his own gun. <laughs> oh. Alright, did I cover everyone? No, you missed me. 
I think so. Okay, oh, uh, then in Tiberianus, <laughs> describe your character. Hmm. <clears throat> I imagine you're probably going to display your image on screen. No. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tiberianus is a tech priest from a greater Forge world, originating, in fact, on the prime Forge world of Mars. Her family is, comes from a long line of devout tech priests, eager to serve and expand the Imperium's knowledge and to protect the secrets of the Arcanium. All right. What is your personality? I wasn't done yet. I was just taking a drink. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so go on. At 23 years That's of age. one corruption for taking a drink. Indeed. Oh, I, I, I coughed about a bit of my potion. <laughs> um, at age 23, Tiberianus weighs in at 80 kilos, as 1.8 meters in height, with a very well-built figure. Her eyes are gray, as is her hair, and she, from many hours spent under the scorching sun of Mars, her skin is tanned. My accent has changed, by the way. I've uh, noticed. Yes. It does that. I can't help it. I osmos accents. Um, I think that's pretty much everything you needed to know. All right. What is your personality like? It is actually an active, take-charge personality, easy to anger. How did you meet Inquisitor Bob? That idiot driver crashed his vehicle. I had to fix it. <laughs> I didn't see okay, the speed how, bump. how did he crash his vehicle? What happened? Well, first he didn't see the speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> then it went the speed bump was turned the speed out bump as it was. Xeno scum? The speed bump was not Xeno scum. In fact, it was a servitor <laughs> who was acting as target oh. practice to train the initiates in how to fight Xeno scum. <laughs> it's in the way. Needs to be run over. So he he drunkenly drove onto a uh, training ground. Indeed. Hey, hey, hey! He said never never said anything about being drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I really didn't. I'm well, pretty sure I'm conscious. <laughs> so okay. So uh, why after this accident did Inquisitor go, Bob? Hmm, that was a great accident. I know who what what it's time to do. It's time to recruit some people. Because he Why did he recruit as, you? As long as he had to deal with that drunken guardsman moron, he knew he'd have to hey. have somebody who could fix his things. He can't just go running around requisitioning entirely new vehicles every 20 minutes. Hello? Mm -hmm. So out of all the other... Perfect. What does the Inquisition mean to you, Tiberianus? A way to restore the glory of man and its supremacy in the universe. Okay. What are you willing to sacrifice? What remains of my humanity. Which, from the sound of it, since you're a tech priest, you're going to be slowly replacing with machines anyway. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, what... Is he what? going to replace his big jugglies with Hush, machines? you! Stop! <laughs> no. None of that. Those are, those are yeah, sacred well, artifacts be... of man. They, they cannot be touched. <laughs> <laughs> by cold steel. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and replace his boobs with speakers, and we will call them blue tits. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Don't say oh. his. <laughs> I knew they were fake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you desire? Uh, to learn the secrets and acquire lost technologies to further the cause of man. And what do you hate? I hate idiots who can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to run your ass over next time. <laughs> so you and Kaltos don't get along, do you? Probably not at the and start, Darius no. doesn't get along with uh, Varn. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting party. <laughs> well, we know why. Well, everyone in this sort of little party knows exactly why he hates me. <laughs> My shot accuracy is amazing. <laughs> Just throwing that out, man. You <laughs> <laughs> shan't mention it again. <clears throat> ah, you don't like me? Hmm. On a completely unrelated topic, look at my big guns. <laughs> <laughs> you hoes! And here I thought your character was male. Keep <laughs> 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 please, darling. <laughs> you know, you as like a tech priest, I could, as, 
as a tech priest, I could actually get those. <laughs> Don't grab her tits to blow your hand off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are so childish. Whatever. <laughs> Next! All right. Uh, I believe that's everyone. Oh, my. So that was all the questions? That was everyone and all the questions. Hmm. Let's see how long we remember so, our answers for them. Yep. <laughs> I don't remember him saying what he hates. He hates stupid drivers. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I hate people who can't drive. Long tangents long and made me forgetful. <laughs> uh, it's all the drugs. <laughs> wow. I'm drunk right. and you're druggy. That's not very nice. <laughs> <clears throat> well, how else are you supposed to survive tyranid attacks on a bloody feral world? A really big gun. By eating the tyranids you kill? Exactly. Why do you think you're addicted to drugs? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's why I hate Tyranids. <laughs> Damn Tyranids, they don't tyranids. even taste good. No, they're chewy. <laughs> they don't taste like Psy no, Chicken. I... Did you just say Psy Chicken? Psy Chicken. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> roll with it. Roll, 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 roll. They've got Psy Squirrels and Psy Panthers. Why not Psy Chickens? Psy Duck. What use would Psy Chicken be other than his food? Quack. Quack? <laughs> what? Uh, that's a Psy Duck? It yeah. is evil. Psy Duck. Psy Duck. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Pokemon. <laughs> Wouldn't Pokemon be considered heretical? I would think so. Damn. <laughs> well... We've got to start an underground cult, people. <laughs> and now there's fire. <laughs> that is a big fire. <laughs> like right now, it's a meter fire pit. But that that was that was that was three by three. That was a nine square meter fire pit. <coughs> for a moment there. That's a big bonfire. <laughs> well, it's the remains of the last bike. <laughs> what bike? Exactly. We had bikes, and we let you drive them. Hey. <laughs> I didn't let anyone drive my bike. Oh, we haven't even established that we actually have vehicles. In the long-awaited tradition nope. of tabletop RPG games, the first episode is basically screwing around and figuring out what you're going to do. Indeed. Where the hell is that Inquisitor? <laughs> By the Emperor. It's silent tonight. So I guess that's the end of the episode, eh? That was, that was a little short. Yeah, let's keep cutting keep out. Randomly, man, uh, randomly pandering on. Mm. Or it could go completely quiet. Mm. Oh, Indeed. Yep, anyway. mm. quiet. Is there something wrong with quiet? Yes, it's boring. Mm. <clears throat> it's green. Do a little dance. Make Stop. it love. <laughs> now we're on trees or grass. That's very, very bright grass. Uh, that's, a, that's some mm -hmm. tall grass. I Why is there a fire in the middle of the tall grass? I think it's lichen. <laughs> Where did we find the sand for this for the fire? Magic. Why isn't none of the rest yeah. of the grass on fire? Why are we in a red box? Because it's lichen. <laughs> oh no! The box is our perimeter. Oh. So, uh... What happens when we do that? Well, then you're outside the <laughs> perimeter and you're no longer protected by the grace of the Emperor. No. Uh, Tiber, I believe you actually had a name for the, uh, session? Or the roleplay group? I believe it had something to do with a barrel and bacon. The barrel of bacon. <laughs> that was last night. Thanks. I can't Never be expected remember. to remember that. <laughs> it happened less than 24 hours ago. Yeah, but a lot of things have happened between then and now. Yep. Like I need to invest in a less creaky chair. Yes, yes, you do. Alrighty, um, I, I guess we say goodbye now. No, no, it's still too soon. Too soon, man. It's too soon. So it's now a circle within a box, uh, a box within a circle. <laughs> Indeed. No, it's a box overlapping a circle. Neither one is truly within the other. 
but what I'm, I'm going by. for. You'll you'll soon see what I'm going for here. All right. Ah! Oh. 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 Uh, uh, Don't turn out the lights. Uh, <laughs> it's dark. We're afraid oh. of the dark. It's scary. <laughs> Hold me. <coughs> Hold me. What is going on? What Fog madness is this? <laughs> Apparently, Kaltos just walked over, grabbed Tiberianus' ass, and then walked away with it. God damn it! What did I tell you about that? You have to roll your hit check. Huh? <laughs> yep. That, that's, home, that's quite the fail. I think you just slapped yourself on the side here. I'm basically just to try and grab Tiberius' ass. Yeah. Or. Or. Okay. <laughs> but, um. Apparently, turn order. What? Why are we rolling for initiative? Because you are the demons. Aww. Kill the adept Wait. first. If she's a tech priest, and she's slowly replacing portions of her anatomy with machines, does that mean she has gears in her vagina? Aww, oh, I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? You'll never find out. Are you sure? <laughs> Stop again! Ah! Stop, again. Stop it! The lights are off. No! I activate my glow lamp! <laughs> there's a fire, but there's no actual fire. Bring me light! <laughs> that is inconsistent fire. <laughs> See, it's not a fire. Character. It's actually a desk lamp just sitting in the middle of a fire pit. Oh. Oh no. Why can't we see anything outside? Are we in a tent? I think we're in a tent. With no floor. You don't need a floor for a tent, just soft, glorious this tent, bacon. This tent is floored. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. It's flawless. Be flawed. Don't lie to me. <laughs> don't go outside. It's dangerous. I have a glow lamp. I can see things. <laughs> just a little box. Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting in here. <laughs> so is this the uh, the line of sight program? Yes. Okay. So why? Are, how are you going to factor in my glow lamp? Uh, there is also dynamic lighting. How does that work? I have to figure that out. <laughs> you know, this seems like the kind of thing we should have had figured out before we started recording. No, that's Indeed. what makes this episode long enough to watch. <laughs> <laughs> John, please don't come near me. Ah, oh, we're blind. <laughs> Solar flare. I do know how to enable line of sight. Uh, how wondrous! Oh, I don't know. So dynamic lighting. <coughs> <coughs> what you get? Choke on it. Oh. What? <laughs> I'm still alive, woman. <laughs> but for how long? Musical chairs. I can edit your token to emit light <laughs> for five meters. In every direction? There you go. Whoa. Oh, shiny. Get next to the light. Oh, Should the light. fire be emitting light? Yes, it should. Quiet you. <laughs> He's working on it. This is still flawed. Um, fire. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're still recording this. Well, it has to be long enough to be worth uploading. How long is it now? Oh, that's what she said. Less than an hour. All right. Tell me about Inquisitor Bob. He's a right He's a bastard. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> he just complains about my driving. Because you can't drive. You're stupid. I'm smart enough to configure your pants to explode. I should have killed him when I had the chance. Oh, should you? A bad rap. I wouldn't I have mean, allowed you to kill him. It's not allowed. He, he believes in my diplomacy skills. He can't be such a bad guy, can he? <laughs> <laughs> He's a wishful hey, thinker. Stinker. Considering the only reason you're with him is probably because you want money. Wow. DM hit you are, huh? I only joined his Inquisition so that I could you know, be fed, clothed, and sheltered. And he sends me off on these missions. 
<laughs> well, you gotta earn Wait. that food and shelter. After hey, all, Richard, what's the point of the shelter you're... if you're not outside of it shooting things? So, Richard's the greedy one. <laughs> Only kind of. So, so Jordan, Richard's the greedy one. Okay? Yeah, I was pointing at him. <laughs> Um, I think this has nope. a system where it'll, um, whoop. Actually, I've got a better idea. <laughs> What's better this idea? is my character more. I'm going to get sacrificed everyone Do else. My token looks like an angry manager yelling through a phone at somebody. <laughs> you're fired! No, you're okay. fired. Don't get the cycron on this. You were fired. <laughs> no, I fired someone else. I'm not fired. <laughs> ah, the fire is animated! It can move! Just kill it! <laughs> kill, it. Away. kill it! Well, the fire is spreading. Oh my god. Oh, put it out! Oh. Put it out! Put it out with last gun! <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how last guns work. Ah! Oh, oh shit! And Everybody out of the tent! tent. Abandoned tent. It's moving towards me. We have anger at the great fire god. <laughs> <coughs> Why is yeah, space monkey. Inside? Space monkey is just gonna sit there. I think. I thought space monkey left to go do things. He probably did. He's AFK. Uh, we were gonna keep that silent. And no one had to know. Ah! This fire is clearly a hell mouth. Um, we should probably do something. I, I tried oh, to I do something. I feel like first test. I unzip and piss on the fire. That will <laughs> anger it. It. Apparently that frightened it. <laughs> Congratulations, your your urine is actually gasoline. <laughs> From what a drink! Of, uh, <laughs> oh, there it goes. It was just pre grew shrink. Well, I, I believe Tiberiosity wanted to put it out with las guns. <laughs> I, I rolled 41. Does that hit anything? Is that a hit or a miss? I don't, I don't know. What do I need to hit a giant fireball? <laughs> well, it's large, so let's give it plus uh, plus twenty to your skill. Plus twenty, yeah, I hit it. All right, go ahead and roll for uh, damage. Energy damage, go! <coughs> a four. Have you rolled yet, Tyler? Oh yeah, four. I got yeah, six. six. So four points. I did six energy damage to the fire beast. Can I negotiate with the fire? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a skill. Piece. Attempt, I guess. Also, why is it still <laughs> is black? Is fire outside? even sentient? And if it is sentient, does it know any of our languages? <laughs> that. Hmm. Survival skill. Should we reload? <laughs> no one cares at. Tech priests. What? We can see it's a miracle, and of course, by now the tent is gone. Actually, can see. Um, oh no! Apparently, it must be sentient because it's moving. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It could be a space amoeba. Uh, Run away! I have a dodge ability. Leave me alone. Run away! Run... Oh, so much. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Oh, we are so mature. Fire <laughs> grenade would be a bad idea, wouldn't it? Probably. <laughs> Frag grenade might work, because it would starve the flames. Fire, literally. Yes, throw a grenade into the fire. Well, actually, a frag grenade might actually be effective, because it would cause a vacuum right at the point of the explosion that would rob it of oxygen. They, um, firefighters do it all the time. To uh, They use a small explosive charge to snuff a fire. And since we're recording, yes, but it also wait. has the potential to send flaming bits wait, wait. out to other places to cause more fire. Here's the question, though: If we put out the fire, does that make this a snuff film? <laughs> <laughs> How punny! I see what you did there. No, oh, I missed. It. <laughs> Stop trying to grab my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty long reach. <laughs> he was over here. <laughs> No, I wasn't. I saw you. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with us? Are we just killing uh, time until I end the video? To build time. Okay, fine. Let's end the video. That's enough, perfect. everybody. No more screwing around for you. <laughs> the fire wins. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the fire wins. All right. Uh, that concludes the first episode of screwing around with British people. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Uh, Bye. Why are there three Tiberianuses? <laughs>